So, you want to know what the real estate market predictions are for 2020? Yes, real estate! And should you buy a house in Long Beach in 2020? Yes, real estate! Well, I've done all the research from the top economists in the real estate industry, and here's what I've came up with. Stay tuned. My name is Steve Arthur. I am a local realtor here in the Long Beach and the surrounding cities. If this is your first time seeing me here on YouTube, do me a favor, please. Hit that subscribe button, ring that bell for future notifications because I do put out videos every single week about Long Beach, about where you want to eat, play, work, and sleep. A lot of informational videos here, so hit that subscribe button. 2019's predictions went pretty much right on. They predicted a 2 to 4% increase. Yeah, we got 2.7 right there. They predicted the rate increase. In reality, it went down. So overall, in 2019, the market was just cruising along right there. Well, for 2020, it's pretty much expected to just continue where it left off, just kind of keep cruising, but with a few different factors there. So this is great for the sellers, but what about the buyers? Now, I deal with this all the time, and I know you get frustrated, and I know you are frustrated right now. You're waiting for a price drop. You're waiting for a market correction. Something to happen because you just don't want to pay that top dollar for that house right now. I understand that and I totally get it. But unfortunately, that price drop and the market correction, that's just not in the prediction for 2020. Now, CoreLogic is one of my favorite companies to get all my statistics from. Now, they are actually predicting that the real estate market will increase by 5.4%. That is huge. So, so just look at it this way. If you were to buy a $500,000 home today and it were to appreciate 5.4%, next year, you would have made $27,000 off of that home. That's nice. Now, in 2018, it appreciated by 7%, and that's just astronomically huge. So this 5.4 prediction that CoreLogic is predicting, it may seem low to some people, but it's really, really not compared to when the norm is at 2 to 3% growth per year. So what about the buyers? Now buyers, you're always going to hear this in every single real estate prediction video that there ever is. Not going to hear it from me. I'm just going to quote it. Well, no one here has a crystal ball to know for sure. I hate that one, but it is true. But I hope this video gave you is giving you enough information to get you motivated to get into a home this year because I would hate to see you lose out in another year while you wait for a market correction, a price drop, to lose out on that equity and all the benefits that you get from buying a home, such as the tax benefits, the equity, the forced savings, and let's just face it, writing that damn check to the landlord, to that ungrateful landlord, so he can collect all that benefits while you foot the bill. You want your electricity fixed? Move! Check into the fucking plaza! Just give me my rent, lady! Inventory. There are two contributing factors here that will increase the inventory level just a little bit. One is new construction. There's just not a whole lot of it right now. And two, people are staying in their homes longer than they used to. The average move time used to be between six to eight years family would move. Now they're just staying as long as they can 
building up all the equity they can so they can sell their house and go live their dream life, whatever they have planned. Now, I did make a video on that, where all the Californians moving to. It's right here, you can check that out afterwards. But that's what they're doing. They're staying longer, getting all the equity to help their retirement to live their dream life, whether it be closer to their children, their grandchildren, or just hunting, fishing, whatever their dreams may be. So those people are starting to sell now, whereas eight years ago, they weren't selling. Now, millennials, yeah, you know who you are, you late 20 and early 30 year olds. You guys made up for 40% of all escrows for 2019. Congratulations. And you're predicted to do a little bit more this year. So get in touch with them. So the things to look out for in the 2020 year in the real estate market is inventory, because it is gonna go up a little bit. But still, one out of every four homes that it will be offered for sale will be involved in some sort of bidding war. 34, yeah. 34, 35, 36, Rising prices due to the housing shortage and rising rates. But remember, the rate rises by 1%. That can increase your monthly payment by about $500. So sometimes it's not better to wait. So I hope you found this video helpful. And remember, if you or anybody you may know needs a realtor in the Long Beach or the surrounding areas, please feel free to hit me up any which way. All my information is down below. I absolutely love it when people get hold of me through this channel. It is fantastic, I just, I love it. I check it every day and I'm kind of nuts over it. I don't know why. But anyways, till next time, take care.